Hi everyone, welcome to the Weight Loss Diaries. I'm Denise, I'm your Saturday vlogger. It is Saturday, November, no, December 12th, 2009. My weight this week went up. It is my first gain since I started doing this. It's very disappointing. <laughs> but, um, where's my book? I don't know where my book is, but I think it's 2.8 pounds up. <clears throat> and what happened was, um, early last week, I want to say maybe it was Monday night or Tuesday night, we had Chinese food. Totally not planned and was not in a state of mind to handle it. But my husband comes in, he's all, let's get Chinese food. Drew is going in with us and his brother who lives next door. And, and so let's get, can you eat Chinese? And I'm like, well, yeah, I can. And I should have stuck to something else and not even touched the Chinese food. But so that set the motion. <laughs> going and then the next day was a work function full of goodies and I worked it and all that stuff was right under my nose and I ate nothing but sugar all day and then fast forward a couple of days later we made holiday cookies last night and I only got two workouts this weekend so that resulted in a gain of 2.8 <clears throat> so um, <laughs> I don't like it that I had a gain because I was hoping to do this whole thing, and I know that's ambitious, but I was hoping to do this whole thing not gaining weight once. Maintaining or um, losing a little bit, you know, I've lost 0 .6 here and there, but a gain I hadn't experienced in the whole five months I've been doing this. Going on six months now. So that's disappointing, but it's very real, and it is the holidays, and this is the hard time for me, so there's no excuses for it. It's not because my period is here and it's not because, you know, um, it's too hard. It wasn't hard. I chose not to do it. I chose to eat the sugar. It was a choice, period. And now I have to endure the consequence again. So I'm still down 51 point something pounds and believe me, next week I'll have a loss. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> This doesn't sit well with me. Um, anyway, I did enjoy the things that, that we had throughout the week. However, I have to say that today I'm feeling quite sick to my stomach. Too much sugar, too much off program, too much of not having the nutrients in my body, um, too much coffee, not enough sleep. Um, it's been a crazy week. So I don't, um, I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. I don't like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting everything back into um, my routine and having said that I'm so tired so forgive me for being so like <laughs> out of it because this is what sugar does to me I'm so tired I can't even get motivated to do my Christmas cards I mean I just I feel I feel like a drug addict and I got my fix and now I'm like really mellow <laughs> I'm telling you sugar is evil it's the devil it's the devil <laughs> okay the topic of the week this week is heart disease and what do you know about it and what's your first um, response to that without doing any research. And I didn't do any research for this. There's something in my eye. But what I can tell you about heart disease and me is that it runs in my family. My great grandfather died of a heart related illness. My grandfather had emphysema but he also had heart disease. My grandmother, while she had problems with her heart early on, actually had a very strong heart in the end. I don't know. My great-grandmother had a very strong heart. I recently had an ultrasound done of my heart. And the reason that they uh, did that is because they hear a heart murmur. And it's rather loud. And when it's loud, that can be an indication of something's wrong with the valve or something of that nature. It turns out that there isn't anything wrong with my heart. My heart seems fine, except that it's a little tiny bit on the enlarged side or becoming enlarged. That has everything to do with high blood pressure. So, my blood pressure is in check right now. It's the lowest it's ever been it, since I've been on this um, healthy kick here. That's really come down a lot, plus I'm on medications. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get off of medications. That is the goal but I don't know if I'll be able to because it runs in my family hypertension. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping to get off of it. I don't like being on medication of any kind. Recently I started taking a supplement, a new supplement that, that I've been doing some research on called COQ10. And it is a, 
good for your heart. It helps. It's an it's a very very strong antioxidant. It helps with cell uh, breakdown and um, capturing free radicals. That's my understanding of it. And so I've been trying that out. I haven't really noticed much of a difference of any kind, really. Um, but I'm hoping that I'm really hesitant to to take supplements because you know you can read all the studies in the world and they can do all the studies in the world and they do do all the studies in the world and then all of a sudden a study comes out that says oh it's bad for you you don't really know from what I've read so far I'm willing to take the chance so I'm taking it we'll see we'll see how it how it goes for me I feel like I've spent a good 40 years of my life really beating my body up and causing a lot of damage and I really want to rectify that and try to get as healthy as possible so for me, heart disease is a very real thing in my family, and because I have a slightly enlarged heart and I'm headed that direction with my blood pressure, it matters to me very much to stay as heart healthy as I can be. Um, the wind is whipping through here. The, the door upstairs just closed because the windows are open upstairs. It is storming outside. It's great. It's like the rain is coming down and there's mist everywhere and the rain's horizontal and it's the trees are blowing all over the place and it's fabulous. I love it. <laughs> Very much a winter girl. Um, so anyway, um, everything that I do in, in my day, <laughs> yeah, sugar is evil. <laughs> God, um, everything that I do in my normal healthy lifestyle is geared towards keeping my heart healthy, my lungs healthy, everything healthy. I want my skin to be better. I want my endurance to be better. I I want to prevent disease. I'm that's why I do this. It isn't so much to fit into a small size gene. It's much more important to me to be healthy. So anyway, that's my take on heart disease. That's all I'm going to say about it because quite honestly, I'm totally out of it. <laughs> I need a lot of sleep and I need to get the sugar out of my system. <laughs> so stay tuned for next week. Can she do it? Can I do it? <laughs> Can I reverse that gain and possibly lose all of that and then maybe a little more? That's my goal. So stay tuned next week and see how I do. All right, everybody have a great week and enjoy the holidays. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time with the holidays. All right, bye.